Welcome to my interview with Jeanette D'Onofrio, also known as Miss Fit Vegan. Jeanette is the author of the wildly popular The Raw Vegan Beauty Book, along with many other groundbreaking books and courses in the plant-based living foods community. She's extremely passionate about sharing her experience and knowledge of a fruit-based raw vegan lifestyle, which she has been following for the past 12 years. Since 2011, Jeanette has naturally healed her cystic acne, chronic fatigue, migraines, IBS, eczema, and depression, and lost over 50 pounds and more. She's one of the most authentic and trusted leaders in the raw vegan movement. Jeanette is also the director of the Woodstock Fruit Festival, a YouTube sensation with her viral fruit tutorial videos, and the host of the popular weekly YouTube live series, The Misfit Vegan Show. Jeanette is known for sharing her expertise in selecting, ripening, and all things fruit, which was demonstrated in her last appearance on Chef AJ Live. Jeanette is the former food and beverage consultant and currently is working towards opening Fruit is Life, the world's first fast fruit cafe. How cool is that? She's dedicated to inspiring the world to eat more fruit and providing value through her free resources and courses her social media platforms, and her YouTube channel, where she posts daily content on fruit, healthy living, goal-achieving strategies, and more. Please check out the links in the description so you can connect with Miss Fit Vegan. Now it's time to hear Jeanette's amazing plants formation. Hello, everyone, and welcome to an awesome episode of Amazing Plants Formations. I have, like, if you've ever met, like, a celebrity in your life, then you know how I'm feeling right now, because <laughs> this woman here I've learned so much from. She is Jeanette D'Onofrio, also known as Miss Fit Vegan. Sure, you've known, you've probably seen her popular YouTube channel, and she's written many books, and she has a guide um, to help us to become raw vegan and stay raw vegan. I know she does a course. I mean, there's just so much I could go on and on. I know we have limited time because we had some technical difficulties. So I'm going to just say thank you guys for being here. And thank you, Jeanette, for taking the time to come on with me on this channel. It really means a lot. And um, I love your tagline, eat fruit, stay cute, right? Yeah, eat fruit, be cute, or be eat cute. fruit, stay okay. cute. I'm like still deciding on which one, but um, thank you so much. I love what you're doing, and we'll definitely do, we'll do like a short one today, and then we'll I'll come back and we'll do a full hour because I wanna I wanna get to know you and I wanna share with your audience anything that I can be of help for uh, to share. So yeah, just so you guys know, we'll do two parts. That sounds great. All right, it'll be like the sequel. Yes. <laughs> Everyone will be waiting, like yes. tailgating for it. Um, okay, so thank you. I know you've been vegan. Let me just make sure I got this right. Um, raw vegan for um, almost 13 years. Is that right? Am I close? Yes. In February of 2024, it will be 13 years. Wow, that is amazing coming from someone who started this only like four four and a half years ago. So that's a yeah. long time. A lot of people on this earth will never be raw for four days. So four years is a good amount of time. Yes. And I have went through different versions of it and I've returned to raw. I felt like I returned home um, to the vegan, you know, raw journey. And so, okay. So this was, you know, um, 12 or 13 years ago. How did this all happen? Can you tell us how you became this expert in the raw vegan world? Uh, yeah, I guess I am an expert. And the only reason is because I've just been doing it every single day for almost 13 years. So yeah, I guess I am. Um, I became a fruity weirdo uh, because I just, I was really looking for a solution to my health problems. And I tried all of the medications. I tried all the prescriptions. I tried over the counter stuff. I tried all the recommended things from my doctors and specialists and nothing worked. And I tried every diet before this because I was always trying to lose weight. I was overweight. I had cystic acne. I had major IBS issues. I was um, always constipated and um, lots of other things, migraine headaches, back aches, rashes. I was always breaking out. I had such bad um, back pain that I remember one day I went to take off my coat mm -hmm. and I couldn't, my arm wouldn't go down 
because something had locked in my back. And like, I remember going to the ER like this in a cab and I was like freaking out. And I'm like, I'm like 17 years old, you know, like all these major issues that like nobody should deal with at 17, 18 years old. And um, always something. I always had something uh, going on with my health. And either I was super tired or I was super bloated or I was struggling with my acne, you know, just every every day there was something else. So I tried the raw vegan diet in 2011. I never looked back. It has helped me heal everything. Um, now, every day I wake up and there's nothing wrong. And it was the op it's the opposite of my old life. So that's why I tried the raw food diet to lose weight, to heal to feel better, to have more energy. And it worked. And I'm never going back. So it's 13 years, but like, wow. I'm going to be raw forever. So yeah. I don't know. I'm raw. We're raw. So we're probably going to live to like 500. That's what like I'm Noah. thinking, right? So yeah. And I just watched a show. Um, I don't know if this is something I guess you, you said it before. So I'm going to ask you here too, because I heard you on another um, stream, you know, like when I was stalking out all your interviews to like learn more information. And I heard you say your age. And I mean, I was stunned, honestly, like, I literally thought you were like 20 you know, when I looked at you. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm 38. For those of you guys that don't know, born Insane. in 1985. 85. Um, so not 95. But um, yeah, thank you very much. It's the fruit and vegetables. I mean, I truly know that it that is what it is. Because when I was 20, I didn't look 20. I looked much older. So, you know, the more you invest in fruit and vegetables, uh, the more the younger you'll look for sure. It, you were supposed to be looking young uh, until we until we pass. OK, so we're supposed to be vibrant and healthy and young looking and we are what we eat. So if we want to if we want to feel good and look good, look beautiful, bright, colorful, we need to we need to put things into our body that are bright and beautiful and colorful and alive. You know, I think you're right. I think so many people, including myself, because I started this at 42. So I had been in the standard American diet for many, many years. And the funny thing you mentioned was the back pain. I tried to do this. It was just a diet. I watched a documentary called Raw, and I literally was just going to do it for three days. And after three days, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to push myself. I'm going to do it a week. And like, literally, I just kept going. And like 30 days later, I had back pain, like chronic back pain my entire life, um, you know, from teens on. And I literally had all of a sudden after 30 days, I had no more back pain. And like you said, for someone who deals with chronic pain, having to wake up and stretch out and the tight muscles and and you know everyone has different issues but I'm like that's what's amazing about it the healing that you experienced and the skin conditions and things that we think like my whole life I thought you get sick you take medicine yeah so what was that like for you experiencing that that change and like is that what got you into wanting to create YouTube's uh, yeah, for sure. So like I discovered the raw food diet and I wanted to start YouTube immediately because I feel like I discovered like a miracle. Right. I mean, you know, if you're like, OK, we both had really bad back pain and like we would never think in a million years, a million trillion years that it was like the food. So like if somebody came up to us and said, OK, eat a salad. And it's going to help your back pain. We would be like, lady. we would be like, OK, bro, like stop doing drugs. <laughs> Rolling you know the eyes I mean? as I walk away. Right? <laughs> right. So like the fact that like I never thought in a million years I was going to a chiropractor for years and years, spending so much money. And in a million years, I never would think that my diet was causing my back pain. But inflammation is the cause of your joint pain. And so that's what's happening. OK, you're eating foods that is you know, inflammatory and, and creating body pains. And um, it doesn't just create bodily pains, but it, it creates a very bad um, um, environment for your immune system. The things you eat affect your immune system because your immune system is in your gut. Also, the things you eat affect your brain, your mood. I was really depressed. I was really negative and like nothing was working out for me. And, um, you know, I just like saw the world and it's such a, a gloomy place. Mm -hmm. And I just it was really depressed. So anyway, so um, I started YouTube in 2017. I wanted to start in 2012. But I was truthfully, I was in a really toxic relationship. And my boyfriend did not 
let me start YouTube. If you can believe it, like and the person you are now, I cannot see anyone letting you do anything, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> or stopping me, right? Right. Can you imagine that I, I literally let someone tell me what I can and cannot do, which is crazy because I knew, I knew that this message had, like, I had a very powerful message. I knew that this needed to get out there and there was nothing special about me. It's the message, you know, and people always like, they, people always write the nicest comments to me on my podcast or on my YouTube saying that I really inspire them, but I know it's not me. It's really like when you eat a, a, a fruit-based diet, it's like nature channeling through you, you know? And so I just, I knew that this was powerful and I needed to get this message out and I wish I started earlier, but Hey, 2017 is better than never. And, yes. and by the way, if anybody out there feels the same way that they have a powerful message, start now. Start now. I don't care how old you are because Louise Hay, she didn't write her first book till she was in her 60s. OK, and there's so many people that they don't start living their truth and stepping into their greatness and leaving their legacy until they're 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. So no excuses. Okay, I, I just want to say that. <laughs> Thank you. You're empowering like young women and with your message. And one of the things I found so intriguing about your channel and everything is the real I think I've even commented that on a couple like thank you for being honest and thank you for <laughs> being vulnerable enough to share hey I was in a toxic relationship hey I was not feeling my best I had anxiety because so many of us are struggling and we don't like we think no one else will understand and it's like when you hear someone opening up and this changed all of those things is so powerful for us to to hear that you know and to open up about your struggles and you know the the way that you present your down to earth like type messages it's just it's really inspiring because when you look at youtube sometimes you think people are not the same as you yeah i want to touch on that thank you for bringing that up and thank you for your kind words and comments and things um you know it's so hard to be uh like a in the health and wellness space and be vulnerable and share exactly what you're going through because what happens is the haters of the internet, they use that against you. So that's why all these really famous raw vegans, like Fully Rock Christina and all these people, they can't really come out and say everything they're going through because all of the haters will then use that against the raw vegan diet as if the raw vegan diet is responsible for everything wrong if you get sick. But yeah. you know what's the craziest part is that people are dying every day. People are being diagnosed with cancer. People are having strokes every day. People are, are really sick out there. And we never, ever blame the diet ever unless they're raw, <laughs> you right, know? Right. So like any celebrity dies, we never say, oh, what did they eat? What were yes. they eating for the last, you know, five years or a year? We never say that. So I just think it's very interesting that the raw vegan diet is so like attacked on the Internet. And it's because it's the truth. And the truth is very scary for the big conglomerates and the big corporations. And so yes. there are people that are paid to make negative videos about the raw food diet, um, about the vegan movement. And, uh, you know, so thank you for that. It's very it's not easy. It's not easy because I came out and I said I had a tooth issue like about six months ago. And people made videos about me saying, oh, that's because you're raw. You had a you know, because you're raw, like like the raw food diet is not a panacea. Like things are still going to happen. You're going to get a cold. You're going to get something's going to happen. You, you might fall down and hurt your knee. Like the raw food diet is not like going to save you from everything, but it's going to give you the best possible chance at being healthy. It's going to give you the best skin. It's going to give you the best energy. It's going to give you the best shot at living a long, healthy life. So I just want to put that out there that influencers should not be afraid to share what they're going through. Although I understand why they can't because they're mm -hmm. making a living selling their product. And if they get sick or they have anything wrong, they have a tooth issue, then everyone's going to say, Oh, the raw food diet doesn't work. I'm not going to buy your course. I'm not going to buy your product. But like, we just got to communicate more to everyone that um, you're still human, even if you're raw, you know, and like yes. these haters and these people that make these hate videos, they never share what's going on with their health. They never share if they got diagnosed with, you know, diabetes or if they have a, a health issue, um, you know, they just had a surgery or something. They don't even show their faces. 
Right. You know, so I, I just want to say that. <laughs> and there's, you really have to be careful. Like there's so much misinformation. Like if you have an open mind and you Google something, you can't even look at the first three things only because that first one is going to be paid for, to your point, likely by the people who want to sell that product, you know, and it's a shame that the world is like that. However, that's just how it is. So you have to really do your own research, look at studies. And I mean, for me, it's the same way. This has been like something I can't keep to myself. And you know, that, that it's so powerful and people are looking for this magic pill and this magic cure. And it's literally, you could just go to the store or, you know, go to the farmer's market and buy a bunch of fruit and vegetables, you know, and it's like your life could change. And it's like people fight it. And I think that's why they're hate because that connection that we've made that animals and the environment and that this isn't good for us people don't want to believe it you know and they would have to change their like normal everyday life so I commend you for doing that like what was that like on the first like year or two like um was it difficult for you socially to to be raw um yeah i mean it's it's still difficult socially uh -huh. um because every social event revolves around food and restaurants and um you know food is such a big part of our culture and that's why so many people are so sick because we are eating the foods that everyone else is eating but if you do what everyone else is doing you're going to get the results that everybody else has and one in i mean the last time i checked one in three people but i feel like it's one in two will get cancer in their lifetime. This is not normal. This is not normal. So yeah, it's hard socially. Absolutely. Um, I just, I can't say, I, I can't say it's not. Yeah, I have a community online. Yeah, I was just on Fruity Fridays with Ronnie and I'm actually going, I don't know when this interview is coming out, but I'm going to be a uh, guest hosting Fruity Fridays next Friday, August 25th. Yes. So I'm excited about that. So everybody join. It's free. Um, and there's a big community online. And, you know, of course, I I run the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Uh, so there's a big That's community great. there. Um, but it's still hard. I don't know any raw vegans in real life. And the raw vegans that I do know in real life, like they eat cooked food sometimes. They go to restaurants. They're not like me. Like I don't eat cooked food ever because if I do, I won't feel good. If right. I do, I'll feel crappy. I'll feel tired. I'll break out. I don't want to deal with that. I'll have digestive issues. So like all the raw vegans I know, they're not really raw. And so it is very hard. It's very hard, the social aspect. There's some tips and tricks, but um, it, you you got to be really strong minded and you have to um, you have to want it really bad. If you don't want it really bad, then you're going to be persuaded by the delicious, amazing cooked food out there because the cooked food is really good. Like it's designed, the sugar, the salt, the oil, it's it's all mixed up to make you really want it, you know? But lucky for us, we have things like soursop, which are designed Ooh. by nature to also make you really want them. Because I don't know if any, you, have you had soursop yet? I've never had it because we don't have it here where I am in Maryland. Well, let me just tell you. I haven't found it yet. Let's put well, that. Let me just way. tell I'm you. I'm always jealous is, when I see people with it. It is so good, and the way you know that it's ripe is that you can just open it like that. Oh my You're goodness! Gonna open it up. That. I know. You're just gonna open it up, and then it's just so good. And yeah, it cost me a pretty penny to buy it, but like, I mean, people are buying steak dinners for fifty dollars. You know, this yeah. was only twelve dollars. So like, oh no, I think this was like twenty. But like, still. I'd oh rather spend gosh. $20 on something that kills cancer cells than something that causes cancer cells and to grow. Exactly. And millions of dollars in health care spent mm. each year, right? But we don't say anything on that. It's just how expensive is the fruit, right? Right, right. You pay now for some soursop or you pay later for some drugs, chemotherapy, um, you know, surgery. Surgeries are really expensive. And your life, you could pay with your life. So I would just be careful. Everything you put into your body is either going to heal it or hurt it. Everything. There's no neutral foods. Right. I really want people to know that. And I think we're, I don't know what time it is. Can you tell me? Um, oh, yes. It's 648. And what time? Okay. And 
I have a hard stop at 645. Oh, okay. Because uh, so I have a, a seven re- o'clock. I have a seven o'clock interview. Yeah, sorry. Gotcha. Well, thank you um, <laughs> so much for, for this. We've gotten so much valuable information. And just to let you know, um, I'm going to link everything. Jeanette sent me her entire <laughs> bio with all her plans, <laughs> meal guides, books, yeah. everything. And I'm excited to go through and, and get my own stuff there because there is so much to learn from you. Join her channel. Um, subscribe and thank you sorry for the technical difficulties thank you for being here anything you want to say really quick oh yeah no i want to say i look forward to connecting with you and um hopefully let's do this um monday or you know if you have time um not over the weekend but like on monday or wednesday uh and i would love to yeah spend some more time with you and um yeah thank you very much for having me you're welcome and just so you know as well i've got an um interview with you on um monday i think so maybe we can plan oh. that. so that'll oh be yes cool. yes i'm interviewing you yes <laughs> we may have to um you know whatever we got to manipulate there but I'll, I'll make it happen if you have free time so thank you i feel thank truly so blessed much. to have you and your knowledge and i can't wait to try this again yes and we'll talk monday Okay, thank you. Enjoy your your sour sop. Thank you.